In this screencast, I want to introduce Power Pivot for SharePoint, an optional installation of SQL Server 2008 R2 that specifically supports the use of Power Pivots in a SharePoint site. I've got SharePoint 2010 open here, and you can see that I've got the Power Pivot add-in installed because I've got a Power Pivot gallery. When I click on this, it brings up a Silverlight control and previews one of the Power Pivots I've already put on here. What I want to do now is to take the Power Pivot that I've been working on in previous screencasts and deploy this to SharePoint. The first thing you want to do in order to do this is to bear in mind that some of these features and controls on here aren't going to work on SharePoint, like this box at the top here. So you might want to type in an ordinary title. So I'll do that first of all. And just put in analysis and then just make that font nice and big so that I can bold and maybe make it blue like so. Another thing you want to do is rename the tabs on your worksheets and hide anything you don't want the users to see like the data behind the power pivot charts so that when they're deployed users get meaningful information. Finally, what you want to do is in view is to hide the grid lines and formula bars and so on and so forth. And I'll do that for both of these sheets. Like so. And now we're ready to save that power pivot up onto SharePoint. And that's just a question of doing save as. Pick up the URL to the SharePoint site, in this case, BI2010. I'm going to deploy it to the Power Pivot Gallery. Give it a meaningful name. And save it. Now, when it saves the sheet up, that's going to be quite large because remember, all that Power Pivot data is sitting behind this worksheet. So I'm going to let that cook away for a few seconds. And in fact, behind the scenes, what it's doing is actually deploying this as a analysis services queue to the SQL Server 2008 R2 installation that sits alongside SharePoint 2010. OK, that's done. So now I can hop over to my SharePoint site and refresh this page. And we can see my new Power Pivot deployed. Notice it's picked up the names of the tabs here and has previewed the layout that I've saved earlier. If I want to interact with one of these, I'll just click on it, say this one. I've got a small warning here about some of the controls it's not liking, and you can see the layout's a little different. But essentially, I've got the same ability to slice this data um, as the user who created it. Without having to open it in Excel locally, I can just do this from the browser. So if I select 2001 here, it's recut the data. And now that this Power Pivot is up on SharePoint, there are other things you can do with it as well. If I look at its URL up here, we can see that it's this. And if I just copy that to the clipboard for a minute, and I've got the um, SQL Server 2008 R2 uh, SQL Management Studio open here. If I try and connect to an analysis services instance, and paste that in, that URL, and connect. You can see that it's actually connected to it as though it was an, an analysis services database. If I expand this out, you can see the dimensions, 
and the cube. In the same way as I can use it like that, I could also use it as the source in a reporting services report. So if I go back to my Gemini site here and go to reporting, which is where I keep my reports, and I decide to create a new reporting services document. So I go to documents, new document, new report builder report. I can create a blank report here and create a data source. and then add a data set based on it. And you can see all of the information that's in the sandbox I built earlier. So that shows you the power of Power Pivot when we want to be able to share information and let users share information across their teams. Now, this isn't a strategic solution. This is tactical to deal with the day-to-day -day problems that arise in any organization, and perhaps also to be used as a prototyping tool, as it doesn't scale in the same way that a traditional analysis services environment does. I put some links to help you set up SharePoint with PowerPivot at the end of this presentation. And I've been Andrew Fryer. Thank you very much for listening.